Hello everyone, my name is Shambhavi. Hope you all are doing well. So up to the previous video, we have checked out the unique values for our P class, right? So we checked out that what are the unique values of my P class. Even uh, we just tried to check out uh, and find out the uh, gender and the unique values of the P class and account of all of those respective things, right? Now, as discussed up into my previous video, we will be now trying to make up a plot here. So uh, that will be my survival rate by the genders. So I will be using the survival rate, my that's a survival rate common column, my gender column, and my P class column also for just making up this respective plot, right? Now let's very quickly just go ahead and make up this particular plot. So I'll just make up a variable, it's the females underscore df. Okay, and uh, there I would just try to store all the females for my plot. Why? Right? Fine. So, df underscore t in the bracket, again df underscore t, that's my variable into which I have stored my data set. And here I'm just going to put up the call. And that I am going to set equal equal to female. My condition. Pretty good, right? Now, after this condition has been set for my females, I am just going to use, let's say, a new variable, females underscore xt. And I am just going to again make up a cross tab for my p class and for my survived columns, right? So, this time it's going to be pd dot cross tab, okay? In the bracket, I'm just going to make it females underscore df, that variable which we had just right away made out. And in the bracket, I am simply going to use up the p class right it's a p class variable or maybe my column name getting out from here i'm just going to write df and this called t and in the i'll try to get in up i'll try to get in up i'll try to get in up i'll try to get in a percentage 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 of the females right so it's going to be females underscore xt underscore pct as my variable that is equal one that is equal to okay just let me write the females underscore x is a variable which i just right away made above and we had just like stored out the cross tab for my p class and the survived p right the females underscore xt dot div signs on my division bracket females underscore xt dot sum okay and in the bracket i'm just going to put up here as one dot i'm just going to write as type and in the bracket i'm just going to write up here as float float means my float value comma my xs will be equal to right so i'm just converting that to the type of float and even i'm just going to do this sum and uh, my xs which i have set my two xs so are there zero and four and axis so i'm just setting this as a zero xs fine what kind of a plot now I'm trying to make? I just write set down the maybe the, the syntax for that. So females underscore xt underscore pct. Okay, dot I, I am simply using up this plot. Bracket. Now find I am using up a bar plot. Fine. Do I want it to be stacked? So yeah, we can set that as a true. Okay, T would be capital for my or uh, true comma. What could be the title for that? So the title can be equal to um okay, I'll just write it survival rate of females by passenger by passenger class. Okay, that's what I can write. Okay, one second. Now, after that, I would just set down the X and the Y labels. PLT dot X label. So my X label is my passenger class. PLT dot Y label. And that is my survival rate. Okay, X label is my passenger class. Y label is my survival rate. Fine. Okay, that is made for my females. Next, I would be plotting the survival rate by the P class. Okay, in that I am going to set the male. Okay, 
So again, if we start with male standards for df is equal to again the same process as we have done above. Okay, or oh, df underscore t. Again, df underscore t bracket will go my gender, and this time the gender should be equal to male. M, yeah, M is a small will be fine. Coming down, I would set a um, cross tab so it will be males underscore xt is equal to pd dot cross tab. Okay, if you're not clear with what is the cross tab and how does this look like, so you can just go on to my previous videos of the same uh, series and then I have explained about the cross tab in a detail also. So you can just go out and watch out that particular video with a better explanation of what is cross tab and what is like it looks like after using this and what is the difference between normal table and cross tab table okay so cross tab and uh, i'll be just using up over here one second males and is called df that variable and in the bracket again my p class p class comma df underscore t okay and here in the bracket we are having survived so one second survived like that okay done getting down again it will be like males underscore xt underscore pct that will be my like the percentage thing for my males so again, I'll be using this uh, div function and setting is as a as type of loop. Okay. Male sand is called xt dot this is sand from a division. Okay. And this time it's going to be males underscore xt dot sum in the bracket one dot dot as type in the bracket. It's going to be like float. Okay, comma comma my axis is equal to the zero again the same axis as it was previous okay getting down again i'm going to set the kind or what kind of a plot i want to make in so it's going to be males underscore xt underscore pct okay males underscore xt underscore pct uh, dot plot and my kind of a plot is going to be my bar plot comma whether is it is tagged so yeah, it is a stacked one stack is equal to my true comma i can even write down the title so okay i'll just make that uh, local a little bit cleaner so i just write it onto the new lines so my stack is equal to true okay and my title is uh, my title is equal to male survival okay i'll just write it Mail. Okay, no, I'll just write it in the manual. Survival. Survival. Rate of males by passenger class. Right? And getting down, I'm going to set out the X and the Y label. So, PLT dot X label. And in that, I'm going to write the pass. Passenger class getting down plt dot y label and in that I am gonna write down survival rate. Okay, let me write the spelling for survival correct survival. Fine. So what I'll do, I'll just do one thing here. I'll put a hash and uh, make a line like this so that it differentiates between my male and the female part okay oh uh, great fine this is all made and now it's the time for running this out let's check out the result or maybe if we have any error or something like that to be shown okay so yeah we have out our plots here. Now, if you just notice out one thing, first of all, without uh, going through any of my plots or in the detail of my plot, you just if you notice out one thing. 
so that thing is ki we haven't mentioned our my plot size anyway right we have mentioned what size of my plot what should be my uh, size length and the width of my plot but rather without mentioning it is giving me such a beautiful plot to automatically to already see it and a very detailed plot as well maybe uh, in the in the maybe dimensions also so that like we are able to check out this very clearly right so that is why because that is already we have on the top decide out my figure size of all of my plots 10.5 10 is my length length and my width right so that is the exact reason why this this plot looks like this particular thing okay give me a minute yeah so, so now let's start here just a little bit the first one is for my females and second was for my males right so here we are having a survival rate of females by the passenger class and here we are having the males right so, so my females actually are from my orange color so yeah the uh, we are getting to get a little bit uh, good plot and here we are even having up this particular thing okay i would do one thing i would remove up this tag to is equal to true from here i'll just write it as false okay that that didn't made out because okay you know remember why it is this folder didn't made out any difference because on to the above means on the top we have already set, set down my start as my true right that is the reason downside it's not giving me any results if i had set down that start as also is equal to false okay so that's the, that's the one of the things so yeah this is how we are just able to check the survival rates of all of my female by the passenger class and about the males by the passenger class right great so these kind of plots actually they gave us a detailed view of how my different different columns are related to each other in a different different way right as in uh, the different columns which like we had to use of three columns here so i will write my p class and my uh, p my uh, gen right so how are these three columns correlated with each other how uh, these three columns are related what information they three can combine and give us this is what we exactly get when we are trying to make out our plots and the visualizations so doing the eda means doing the expected data analysis that is not only about making up a few plots and getting the result and just like looking like some fancy plots it's not all about the, like that only expected data analysis that is your eda eda is all about how better you can present a few graph it's not about how colorful or or generally how or uh, fancy you can make up your plots it's all about that how simple and how more explainable plot you can make right let's say if i had if i would have made uh, a very fancy plot let's say a heat map or any any kind of a plot over here and that is not needed right but it looks good so will that make any any value because you will be further sharing the insights further sharing the details with your stakeholders right so you always have to make sure that you are making up a plot which is giving them which is making some uh, maybe some good value to other people who are actually trying to see your plots that is what is done into your exploratory data analysis so we have done a lot of visualizations maybe four five visualizations so we have done only up till now so all those four five visualizations these are pretty simple bar plots and rather if anyone sees these plots a person can get up a little bit good information without the explanation also that what uh, is this trying to represent right because every time we are having different headings we are having the x labels we are having the y labels and a beautiful colors also into our plot right? so this is what exactly we get from our plots to see and to check out right so i hope i am pretty clear with all the things which we have done and which we have actually made up over here i hope we are clear with the same so if you haven't subscribed out my channel up till now do go ahead and subscribe out my channel do like this video and share with your friends i'll see you there in our next video